State Senator Joey Fillingain says Governor Phil Bryant could soon call a special session of the legislature to deal with dangerous bridges across Mississippi. What I was told was that there have been some concerns expressed to the governor's office by the U.S. Department of Transportation related to the bridges that they had advised were unsafe to be crossed. Senator Fillingain says a special session would force lawmakers to fund the cost of replacing at least 100 bridges that failed annual federal inspections. I know there was at least 50 more bridges beyond what they had already made public to MDOT that needed to be shut down. Filling gain says federal authorities gave the state an ultimatum, shut down or replace the bad bridges now or risk losing millions of federal transportation dollars. The uh, U.S. Department of Transportation is urging the governor to take immediate action with regards to um, either shutting down those bridges um, or funding them to the extent that they can be fixed and repaired so that they can be made safe again. Jackson leaders have closed seven bridges across the city that failed recent inspections. Some counties had complied and they shut those bridges down in certain counties. Other counties, unfortunately, had chosen to ignore those warnings and had not at this time closed the bridges down. So I think the governor's office is getting very involved at this point, obviously. And now, we don't know how much it would cost to replace the dangerous bridges. Filling gain says the House killed a billion dollar Senate plan that would have addressed funding for bridge repairs. Of course, if there's a special session, it will cost Mississippi taxpayers tens of thousands of dollars each day. Lawmakers are back at the Capitol. For now, we're live in the studio. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.